creep up on you, you know. <laughs> Mr. Marston. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Well, only the basics. Avoid them whenever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> well, let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death roll. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. You stay there, you'll get a great shot, but then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out? And I'll protect you. Come on, get the boat. It'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. Well, you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yeah. 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. Th that's probably where we should look. Okay, let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. I've got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. Oars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop gets butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Sinead, it's got it. Quick, quick, I must get this shot. Yes. In the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature, in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you'd stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. Paddle steamer, huh? Why didn't we think of that? Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. There, in the channel. You see its head? Hooking up there. Line us up to it. You point, I'll shoot, old boy. Come on. Can we get the angle right? Turn, turn. Closer now, closer. Excellent. Beast in repose, all as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet, 19 feet. 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't a shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big ones. Stop too long, the locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. <sighs> Fine. That's, that's not the shot. Can, can you rotate us a little? But, maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh, that's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and, uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. Find me. Out you go. Through the palms. Oh, it disappeared. 
towards the back of the island. You'll be fine. Just don't step on it. Come on, you big... He's awake! I hope you're slow. Come on, Gator. Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Marston. Take us back to where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. <laughs> Me too. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. <laughs> you sure do make me laugh the way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I... Feel such a fool around you, sir. Uh, don't worry about it. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. And try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. And you. You're a curious, curious fellow. I thought you'd be tired of rowing with me. Just a harmless photograph taker. I'll be on my way. Oh, please, no! 